officials will start with an opening statement, then he'll be available for questions. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to get a little bit off the sketch right now, but um, I think that Doug Bruno is one of the classier guys in this business. I really do. Um, it's amazing how every time every time we um, we we play them before the game and post game, he always has nice things to say. He really does, and you don't find it a lot in this business where before a game and after a game, we go to their place and play them. That's 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 one place I'm really gonna miss miss playing at in this conference. You go there, Doug comes to our shoot around, comes to our practice, and walks in and says he need anything. And when we come here today, he just talks about just how how good our team's playing. And you don't you don't you don't find that in this business. And he's he, he's a really really classy guy, and that's gonna be one place that, that I'm gonna miss going. And it's gonna be one guy that I'm really gonna really miss this conference because he he's been good to me. From day one, so this gonna be a, this 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 one is, is, is kind of bittersweet for me going out of the Big East, not to play all anymore, and and in the bands I'm leaving. <laughs> um, this is just a, just a really gutsy game by our players. Um, um, Lacey was hurt and did, didn't know if she could even play today, and obviously she showed up really really big for us. But night in night out, Kayla Alexander is how we go, and it's. And when she plays in this way, we're not going to lose a, lose a lot of basketball games. I thought that Kalia Fonte only played 12 minutes later. I thought she was excellent. She was three for three on the field, three for four in front of the line. She took care of the ball against the team and really gets up and pressure you. I thought she was she was excellent. But uh, but again, Rachel is the is the is the caretaker for that position. And she came in and, and I put them put them together. I told them I said. Couple last couple of games, I said you you guys are veterans who are going to win these these sort of games, and they came in and just played really really hard, they played really really well. Um, <clears throat> we have been committed for, from day one to be able to play man to man defense and not only be a zone team. I thought the last four and a half five minutes of the game, we played man and did an excellent job of guarding the ball and not giving up three point shots. I thought that was a, that was a difference in the game, and then just we just really just. Committed when guard the ball and that rebounds late. And obviously, 24 offensive rebounds is a, is, is a monster number, and this is the toughest thing. So, I'm just really happy for our, for our players. I'm happy for everything that, that they're getting and the success that happened right now because they deserve it because they're hard those kids and they play really hard and they, and, they, and they play for a coach who just keeps pushing them and keep pushing them and keep pushing them. Because I know that tougher teams always win. So, I give them a lot of credit. And I, just be happy to be where we are right now at home. Coaches, the seniors today, Kayla, and then uh, Hall coming in and having a big game for you last time as a freshman. Just what kind of example have those upperclassmen been for those younger ones that are coming along? Well, I think that it's a, it's a, it's a toughness thing. I think when they show our young kids how to be tough, and, and, it's, and I've been a college player, I know how it is when you be a senior. You're just tired, you're hurt, you're old. I always say to tease Lisa, I said, you're old. <laughs> she's, she's, she's really banged up, but she comes in, and unless I say you can't go, she's going to go. I think that she really just, just sets, sets the tone on that, and Kayla is, is starting to be a little bit more vocal in demanding the ball and playing with a little bit more more aggression, and that's, and that's big for us. And, and Rachel is just a constant team player, and just set her role, and obviously Carmen Tyson Thomas come up the bench, and, I think it's one of the one of the best players in the country off the bench in that position. She's a star. And she just really accepts her role and wants to win. So they are they have been a tremendous. Coach, you you guys were down by six on about halfway through the second half. You've seen pretty gradual with the shot selection at times. Can you talk about what changed between that and that and the game? Well, it, it was it's I was we we got some open shots off 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 of off initial initial catches. It might not have been the shot that we wanted in that possession. So it's tough to the team to not take open shots. And that's what we've been doing all year long. But I thought that as I started looking at the stat sheet, I'm seeing that they're not stopping Kayla. So at this point Novell should be shooting the ball but Kayla, if at all necessary. We can we can get a twenty five foot shot with four seconds left instead of getting with twelve seconds left or sixteen seconds left. So that's that, that's really what was what was the most important thing for us was trying to get get shots at the end the paint early in the shot clock and if we got late clock situation we know we can get picks and roll and get some shots off of that. 
And also, can you talk about you had a lot of games in the last six or seven games that were really down to the wire? You had the bed, you didn't bag at the end, you go in there and switching gears and playing a game that's real tight right down the wall. Well, we have battles in practice too. I mean, it's, it's our games in practice when the scrimmage is either a blowout or it's tight. It's never a 14 point win, it's either a 25, 30 point win in practice for one team or it's a really tight game. So we've been involved in, on, in on both ends of this and even in practice. And I think that that's why our team just just keep fighting, never get up, give up. They always ask in practice. It's amazing. They ask one more possession, I get down 30. <laughs> it's really not going to matter. But but you can see even that fight as we go in to these games that they continue, that they just continue to compete. Can you talk more about Lacey in particular tonight? She got off a really hot start in the first half, and then in the second half too. What made her so special? Though? Well, she was just aggressive, and I thought that she had a matchup to where she could get to the basket, and she really got to the basket a lot tonight. She was she was excellent. She just just took sixteen shots in the paint inside the arc, and that was that was tremendous for us for to attack her player off the bounce and draw help, and they allowed Kayla to get weak side rebounds and put back. So I thought she. She did a lot to collapse their defense when they get us some second chance opportunities. Was that too for your team getting off to such hot starts in each of the halves? Sometimes you guys have struggled that in the past a little bit, but now to get off to such good starts, uh, was that too for you guys? Well, it, it, it keeps energy, and, it, and we're always in basketball games because we know we can, we can go on runs. That's a team that that is just going a lot of runs. It's, it's not often that you get more shots than with the ball, you get more possession than that. It's, that's, that's, that's rare, and, and, and our goal is just try to keep them under 80 possessions. It's crazy as that sound because they get 80, 90 possessions a game because they play them so fast. So, so, so we try to keep their possessions down by, by rebounding the ball and getting second chance opportunities. So I thought we did a good job with that. The next one, it's a pretty big one on the schedule, coaches. What are you thinking about going into the weekend? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. And obviously, going, going down to Connecticut, playing to the team that's, that's our. It's been one of the top three programs in the country for as long as I've been in women's basketball and been associated with it. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to go in there and play a great basketball team, play as a Hall of Fame coach, um, play against great great players. I mean, it's it's just what you what you play for. I mean, you 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 play to play the best teams, and I don't think we have to wait too much longer to play one of the best teams in the country. So we got to go in there and get our ladies under rest and get ready to compete at a high level. Coach, you took your last time out with a one-point game with over, a little over a minute left. Do you have a philosophy with that? Do you look at how many time outs last year? No, the, the philosophy was we, we were ready to throw the ball away. <laughs> we were up one, and I knew that, that that possession was huge. We had to get a get a, get a a bucket or at least get a good shot in that possession. So so I saw we were in the middle of the floor, and I saw where they were pushing us down. They were jump trapping. I said, I can take this one right now. And then we, we would be able to get the ball in bounds and we had to run it. But I said, obviously, the screen part has just not been in the ball inbound. They got an inflection off of it, too. But, but we ran good offense at the ball inbound. So it was just about just not turning the ball over and getting a good shot. You talked a bit about this year's uh, UConn team in particular. Obviously, they're good every year. But like uh, Brianna Stewart and players like that, what makes them so good? Well, because players like Brianna Stewart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They, got, they, have, they have great players and a great coach. Obviously, we all watch Brianna Stewart, Stewart, Stewart play. I saw her play first, so I know how good she is. So she's a, she's a very good player, and obviously, you know, Rhea Hartley and Kelly Ferris, and you can just go down, down I can just take their roster, we their whole roster. They have, they have a very good, good player, it's Hall of Fame coach, great crowd. It's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good, good environment for us, a good opportunity, and going in to compete against the, the best team in the country. Is your mindset any different? Obviously, you want to win each game, and you focus on that, and you kind of preparing your team for this in particular game. Mindset is no different. It's a, it's, a, it's the biggest game that we play every year in our conference. Sometimes you play them two times. Sometimes you play them three times. So if you if you switch your mindset every time you play them, I I switch my mindset at least six times already. <laughs> so we just we just we just play the play the play the way we play. And there's been games where we played them really tough, and there's been games where they where they took it to us pretty good. So we have our day just to get ready to compete and do what we do and play the high level. Anything else for coach? All right, thank you.